Hi, it's Alicia and welcome to the Mente Papers YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a beautiful card that I created with the Mente Peony Garden 6x6 paper pad. This is a quick and easy card to create using the beautiful Peony Garden papers. I'm also using the fancy cards as the base of my card. I'm using the birdcage chippies. I'm using the Mente chalk paint in white. And I'm using the Celeb All Occasions sentiments. To begin with, I'm starting with the fancy cards and I'm just using one of those card bases as the base for my card. Just folding that in half and then I'm going through and having a look at the very beautiful 6x6 inch paper pad. I'm choosing this pretty paper here as the background for my card. I'm going to add some glue to the base of my card. And then I'm going to apply this pretty paper directly onto the card, matching up with the edges. Once that is secure, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around the fancy edge of the bottom of the card. Now I'm choosing another piece of paper from the paper pad and this time I'm choosing a very soft pink paper that can be written on so for the inside of the card so nothing too um, busy just something quite plain and then I'm just going to cut around the edge of the card again Next up, I'm going to take the fussy cut images from the back page of the paper pad. And first of all, I'm going to trim around them roughly, and then I will fussy cut them out. I've chosen a birdcage chippy from the Minte Birdcage Chippies sheet, and I've painted it in chalkboard, chalk paint white. Um, and I'm looking for a piece of paper that I could use to put behind that bird cage. So I've chosen this um, pretty pink paper. I'm just going to trace around the bird cage. Once I have traced around it, then I'm going to trim out the little birdcage background just make sure that it fits well and then I'm just going to glue that little birdcage onto that pink paper. My next step is to glue that whole birdcage to the base of my card just in the middle. I've completed all my fussy cutting and I cut this little window out of that really pretty paper that we used on the base of our card and I thought I might as well use that as part of my design so I'm adding some um, chipboard pieces to the back of that little window or that little shutter and then I've glued that onto the right hand side of the card then I've added a little bit of cheesecloth and now I'm going to play around with my fussy cutting pieces and see how I can organize them on a into a little floral cluster or a cluster of embellishments. So I'm popping down this little cluster first in the middle, a little bit more cheesecloth. Now I'm looking to use this little cute bird cage or bird house. Got a pink flower there that I'm going to use, so I'm gluing that down. And I have some really pretty butterflies that I fussy cut 
I'm going to use those butterflies. Extra little pink peony there. Some lace tied up into a bow underneath my flower. And my little sentiment that says celebrate. I'm really loving this cute little card. It's very three-dimensional. It's very shabby chic. It just needs a little bit of sparkle on the butterflies. So I'm just gonna grab some um, glue, glitter glue, and just pop that onto the butterflies. And a little bit of glitter glue around the edges of the pe petals of my flower. And that is the conclusion of my card. I hope you like it as much as I do. It was a really fun project to create using only the 6x6 paper pad and the birdcage chippies and the sentiments and the white chalk paint. Thank you so much for watching. Make, please make sure you are subscribed to the Minte Papers YouTube channel and I hope you have a lovely crafty day.